only 2,745 pounds, little 176 R-Pod coming in used at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. And get this, it has a built-in brake control. Not from the factory, but this is called a Prodigy RF. And this is something I'm familiar with, uh, you know, through experience in our parts and service center. If you have a vehicle that's a non-standard tow vehicle, something like, say, a, a Subaru Outback or something like that, you know, that's a smaller vehicle, it's not made to necessarily do a lot of hauling, but it might have a tow package. Well, sometimes there's a lot of real special wiring that still has to go into getting one of those things ready for towing. That RF thing, basically, the way it works is that it is a wireless brake control system uh, so that you don't need to uh, have any wiring done to your vehicle. You can just plug it into the seven way, get some proper hitching, and good to go. This is a neat little family bunkhouse model with a little kitchen slide to give you that extra space. So whether you're looking for like buddy camping, family camping, anything like that, this is a, going to be a, a nice small either starter family camper or just simple camper for maybe those um, state parks where, you know, turns and, and twists and winds can get kind of tough to get through. Now she's carpetless and easy cleaning, but what's neat is I've got the slide closed right now and I can still fully access everything in this RV, all the storage, the bathroom, uh, the rear bed area and the front bunks. So you don't really need the slide out in this one. It just makes the camper a lot nicer. Now this one gives you uh, a few different sleeping options. Again, uh, you might be able to use, depending on your preferences and camping scenario, the front bunks that we'll look at in a second here as your primary sleeper. But back here, you've got this extra large U-dinette that can fold down into something a little more akin to a master bed. Now keep in mind, you do have a cutaway table below that, so I purposely shoved that corner down to extenuate the fact that there is a little position there that doesn't have any support under it. However, like if, if and if you want to uh, convert it into the dining arrangement that we'll look at uh, momentarily, that's great. But there are some people who are just going to leave this as a bed. So my recommendation is fold all the cushions down like I've done here, and obviously these corner cushions move out of the way. But put a new mattress on top of it. And then you can just have a bed made for yourself the whole time. Or you can do the up-down method as the RV is really intended for. So this one can kind of flex and become different things for different arrangements. So in daytime mode, you've got space for the small family here to get around the dinette. Um, everyone's got a little piece of real estate, a little seat here. Now your table is fully free floating. So if you want to kick that outside for picnic time and use this like an open lounge, that works too. Both sides of the dinette slash bed are going to have these cross breeze windows with a additional viewing window out the back. Now uh, over here in the kitchen we've got kind of like a, a 10 pounds of sugar and a 5 pound sack situation. Starts with a convection microwave oven that does not appear to have ever been used. Um, and But that, then again I think that's kind of the reason this one's here. We actually had two RVs come in at the same time with similar stories where folks just weren't using them and swapped them out for vehicles instead of a camper. So. Most of the time, you know, a lot of people are happy with camping, but every now and then it just doesn't work out for someone or they don't get to go as much as they thought. Now we've got sealed edge thermal foil countertops here. Uh, so if you do splash some water around the sink, you're good to go. But you notice how the sink is recessed below the flush mount cover. And we've got a uh, stainless uh, sink below there. So it's kind of heavy duty and rugged. Not an ounce of space gone to waste. They utilized everything they could. Not the deepest pocket in the world, but they gave you what they could and it is nice that they've got that hidden hinge cabinetry because that does help keep the cabinet door shut in transit now uh, a couple plywood box drawers right here kind of finish off the kitchen and uh, thankfully though that's not the end of our storage because right next to the kitchen slide we've got this great pantry space right here so in case you're curious, that's all the shelving for the actual refrigerator right there. But once again, you can see you've got a pretty good, respectable pantry area here. And those hidden hinge cabinets, they, again, they do their job of trying to keep the cabinet shut. Now, right across from that here, we've got the primary hanging storage space right here. Looks like the previous owners put some little um, command strip sort of organizer over here. That's pretty common in the RV business. Command strips have really done a lot of good things for people in the RVs. Uh, but uh, additional drawer space down below. Pardon me. I'm, I'm sorry. I should have opened the extra. So there's actually three drawers in this thing to maximize every ounce of storage potential uh, really possible. 
Now up top, we've got a full 13,500 BTU air conditioner, like a big giant bunkhouse basically in this tiny little bunkhouse. You could pretty much freeze half a rack of beef in this thing, and I'd say a full rack of beef, but it's too small to fit a full rack of beef. <laughs> Um, the, uh, neat part about this is it's a low profile, so it doesn't really add any exterior height to the camper, and it's a more interesting facet of this floor plan, but the position of the TV is deviously intelligent. It can wrap right around that cabinet during the day, and there's more than enough room to be able to walk around it, so it's not like it's going to cut the camper in half, but when you're done watching during the day, you can flip this thing over here and you can take advantage of the uh, Bluetooth DVD player up top. Now, not a lot of people watch a bunch of DVDs nowadays, but when you're camping, guys, take it from a person who actually goes camping. I can't tell you how handy it is. You pop one of the kids' favorite movies in there, you start playing it on the TV over here, and they probably won't even finish the whole movie. But laying on these big bunks over here, they're gonna just, it, it gets them laid down, it gets them calmed down, it gets their breathing slowed, and it knocks them out. And they go right to sleep, and if they sleep good, you're going to sleep good. Now you can see that these are actually extra wide bunks, so if you're not going to use them for sleeping, you could easily pop these out and use it for some awesome storage space. And I love how each bunk has its own little light uh, behind the pantry. Real smart, intelligent location on there. Now, tiny camper, uh, we've got what's called a wet bath, where you've kind of got a combination toilet, shower, etc. But what's smart is again, uh, like I said, good location, what they did here. The switches for things like the light and the fan, they're actually outside of the bathroom, so that if you do wake up at night, and you want to open these side windows, and you want to get some cross breeze, you can kick that on out here, and turn the fan on, and uh, get yourself some good airflow, without ever really having to go in and out, and make a lot of noise, and rock the camper around. Now outside here, Everything looks pretty good. The skin is gleaming. I found one little uh, decal scuff that I'll point out to you as we go around, but things appear to be pretty solid. That's an anti-slam entry door, by the way, so the uh, wind and the kids won't bang it against the side of the trailer. And this is a six and a half foot narrow body camper, so it is not wider than your vehicle. You can see around it without towing mirrors, but guys, I always recommend you get some towing extension mirrors. It's just a safety item. They're not that expensive but the penalty for failure, you know, is pretty steep. Now, um, we've got four corner power stabilizer jacks here, which is nice because a lot of short campers like this, some brands will chop off the front jacks to save a few dollars and it leaves the trailer wobbly all over the place. And what's also kind of cool, since storage is at a premium on this, it actually includes a uh, outside sewer hose caddy, so you don't need to mix your sewer stuff with your storage stuff. Um, over here, tires look good. I don't see anything wrong with these things. I don't see any weather checking. I don't see any irregular wear patterns. Everything looks fine there. Aluminum wheels never ever offends anybody as far as I've seen. And your uh, rear storage compartment here does have uh, magnetic latches on it, or magnetic holdbacks rather, for uh, easier operation. Now I want to kind of draw your attention to the fact that there is no rubberized roofing on this. This is a one piece front to back fiberglass sweep. So there's just less maintenance and upkeep associated with that. Now, you still have seals that you'll need to maintain. You want to keep an eye on that. Um, uh, our pods do something a little different from, say, like the Hummingbirds or the uh, the Winnebago Winnie Drops here. We actually were an R-Pod dealer for, uh, for just a stint, and for whatever reason, sitting side by side here next to the Winnie Drops and the Hummingbirds, the other brands proved a little more popular, so we let them go, but it was never due to quality issues. Now, with this one being on a used price tag, there's a significant advantage here that I definitely would recommend you uh, zero in on, you know, because you're going to save a bunch here on used versus new. But what I was getting at is one of the things they do different is they include a class two hitch on the back of this, which obviously the general intention uh, from the factory is for the spare tire holder, but it is not going to be hard to simply slap a uh, like a little two bike rack on the back of that, and you can always find a different place to store the spare tire, such as this big compartment right here. Now, you can see right here where there's a pair of bars to a four point connection equalizer anti-sway and load leveling system. However, I have not found the head or the saddles for it. So evidently they left the bars behind but kept the hitch head, which I, I don't know, so keep that in mind. Another thing that's kind of occurring to me, I haven't actually found the handheld control module for that wireless brake control system. So that would be a very good question for you to ask if you're interested in using the brake controller that's already on the camper, which can easily be removed by the way. Mm, I didn't, maybe the other half of the hardware is not there. I'm not sure. Anyway, over here, 
This is a like dome awning screen room. So you see the black track that goes around this. It actually is a C channel where you can slot that awning in place right there. And uh, you can give yourself your own little built in tent screen room built right onto this thing instead of a traditional awning. Um, tip to tail, I haven't looked at the specs, but it can't be, if it's 20 feet or if it's any more than that, I'll be surprised. She is small, she's solid. Again, there might be a couple little weird things where like, half of some of the accessories might not be present but anything that came with the camper it's all here and it's all in good shape so really what i can see on the camper itself is really good oh 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 oh, oh crap i told you i'd tell you where i saw that little decal defect and this is one of those things that were we not a decent dealership and we hid stuff from you it'd be easy to cover this up with a baggage door but something scuffed the decals right there not a big deal but it's there. And as long as it's there, I'm gonna say something. That's just the way that I am. If I see something, I'm gonna say something. But overall, I'm happy with what I see. Very clean. It's been well kept a little bit it was used. So give us a call. Hitching Pieces Parts, Trades Financing, Truck and Trailer Package Deals. <laughs> well, there's a hummingbird right there. <laughs> uh, RV delivery and everything in between. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping everyone.